Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. We are continuing to learn about data binding and in today's episode we are going to learn about two-way data binding. This is part 27 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 26 episodes, make sure that you go through them. I have covered everything in detail, especially the breaking changes in Angular 17 that you need to learn. So make sure that you go through them. We are continuing to learn about data binding. I've already covered interpolation, property binding, event binding. Today we are learning two-way data binding. <coughs> so what is two-way data binding? Two-way data binding is a feature in Angular that allows synchronization of data between the component class and the HTML template. In simple, so far if you relate to the code that we have written, we are passing event either as an event from template to component or vice versa. In two-way data binding, you can send the data from the component class to the template and from template to component both ways. Whenever you change anything in HTML, it will automatically reflect in the component class. We do that using the banana syntax, which is like this, array bracket, then function bracket, and you write ng model. It simplifies the data of updating the UI based on user input. It's pretty common, and especially when you work with form fields like input, checkbox, radio, select, drop down, text area, any input that you build basically a form that's where you would use two-way data binding that's one of the techniques there is also complex ones called uh, template driven forms and reactive forms we'll learn them as we go forward but this would be the basis of template driven forms right so that being said let's jump right into code and I'll show you the implementation <coughs> this is my angular 17 project we are building crew management let me fire this up ng serve all right let me go back to bash and angular 17 crew management system and ng serve all right while it's building make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe button if you are new here all right so this is how the so far it looks and we'll make it pretty as we uh, move forward today the point is for now we are just doing the learning we are on the runway so first learn and then we can implement a lot of things all right so you can see here add new load is from user components we have created few components that we are displaying data etc i'll go to my route app routes and uh, for the sake of this simple thing i'm going to create a new path okay and uh, let's call it um uh, say any 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 you can use any existing component if you want or you can create a new component so since you're learning I'll just create a new component standalone component I'll call it ng generate C the C stands for component G stands for generate and I'm going to call it um, two-way all right so it generated a component here you can see you expand it and standalone is true by default in angular 17 all right now what we I'm going to do is I'm going to create a quick route for this one and say two way and map the component two way component and <coughs> two way not components component and save it all right so now I have my two way component I'm inside that so to test it let's quickly fire up ng serve and go to here and type two way and you see two way works is coming here which means it's loading okay all the other data is because we added these uh, details add user welcome and all that so if I remove it you can see it's clean right just like how it would be <coughs> all right so I have my two way component here now by default standalone components you can import everything that you need right inside this particular component alone so to work with forms that is two-way data binding the foremost important thing let me make that notes for you so <coughs> angular 17 two-way data binding <coughs> all right and 
so remember two way data binding uh, data flows from component component to template and back from template to component okay two ways whereas in event binding and in data binding it flows only one way okay so the syntax of writing is this array bracket then you will write ng model okay that's wh that's the way we bind data but to do that <coughs> in order to do that you need to import forms module this is mandatory if you don't do that you will see errors okay remember these three points very very important we will bind will bind ng model to all the form fields okay that's all you need to remember the four points okay if you're working in legacy systems like angular 16 or below this still is valid okay that being said let's go ahead to our two-way component and like I said import the forms module into the component and then I'm going to start with simple and then I'm going to make it a little complicated and that's how we learn <coughs> so I have a simple um, thing called name okay it's not initialized so let's initialize it and default it to empty string okay in the template that is the HTML all you can do is just write a simple paragraph and say hello and curly brace open curly brace closed double and you write name that is the same variable name that we gave here now you can see hello it's not showing anything okay so what we'll do we'll bind now with the data so I'm going to use an input field use the model that I just showed you the syntax which is ng model and give it a name okay and you can also give some placeholder value if you want and say enter name and close this input so now I see a input and now you start to see I am typing it here and it's automatically coming here I remove it it goes away right welcome to our tutorial see <coughs> what this means is that I am entering the data in the template here but since I binded it with ng model it is sending it back to component for the name and then back it is coming and updating the template that's how two-way data binding works okay this is the most um, I would say simple example um, let's keep modifying <coughs> and uh, I'll show you some more variations of it okay so this is the first field now let's say you have a checkbox let's say I have a checkbox how do you work with that let's go ahead and do that so you get an ng model again since you're binding and <coughs> so you bind again here and let's call it text value and let's give a placeholder or you know or if, if you don't want to just make it a simple is checked okay so this is a simple checkbox which is checked or not so now I'm going to read this value and say check box value is and then again and here I'm going to process again okay and I'm going to say is checked and define see if you don't define this you'll get an error so let's go ahead define this boolean equal to false so initially it's false now it is true because I checked it see true false true false so that is how you can work with a checkbox let me show you one more variation so like I said you can work with any and all form models um, that you want to use it can be radio it can be select everything so let me show you a few more examples so you'll be comfortable using ng model now ng model so now get used to this syntax because that's how um, <coughs> we'll be writing in our template driven forms okay selected option and then I'm going to give a value and bind it that's how we have learned already how to bind that so I'm going to say option 1 and you can give a value to it and say option 1 and again start one more type because radio button means you need to choose only one and not many 
so ng model equal to this name will be same because we want to have only one selection not many so option 2 and close it here option 2 okay now let's go ahead and print this it will give error because <coughs> selected radio value and you will write the name here which is selected option <coughs> take this and go to your component class this can be a string right because ideally um, you are getting a value out of it so you can make it a string and make it string like this okay so now let's see what does it say it says a uh, unexpected token okay let's see what is the unexpected token we used the selected option here we have this ng model selected option and type equal to radio ng model all right and then we have value 1 value 2 and we have the selected option that we have okay this looks good so far and since we are binding the value let's take that go to this and let's see what is the error once again it says unexpected token line number 8 or let's just do a value here and let's see what is the value that's coming in okay <coughs> it says parse error HTML data binding so sorry this should be the name of the selected one here we have defined it and let's make it boolean and make it uh, false it is still not working option option 2 does not exist on okay 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 so that is why okay so it says option one is not existing because that value is not defined inside the string since we are binding the value it should be inside the string that's why it didn't work and let's see what it gives now uh, now you see the values are changing option one and option two okay so that's how you can achieve a radio button okay now again I can make this a string and make it this is also fine because initially you can do that like whichever is toggling you can take that value that was for the radio button now similarly you can do for drop down you can do it for select and much much more alright I'll give you a quick example of select also so that way you'll be comfortable to use any and all the form fields of your choice okay so for the select I am going to write ng model and I'm going to give a value remember this is will be the same value select option don't get confused this is selected option this is I'm saying drop down drop down option okay and in the options we are going to pass the value and bind that so here we will write ng value equal to now again let's not make the same mistake let's put it in single quotes so some of the times we'll all make mi that mistake option one <coughs> here make it option two and this should be good now it will give you error that it's not defined so I'm going to go here make it a string and initialize it to empty and now you see but we need to display that value so I'm going to put another paragraph and say drop down value and here I'll say drop down option so now see when I select option 2 it comes option 2 when I select option 1 option 1 right so what we have learned here is very very important concept especially when you're working with forms okay which means that whenever you do any kind of actions with forms especially that's where this is extremely critical okay I leave you with one last which is the text area 
and here you write the text area all right and again same thing now I think you might have got used to it that we have to write ng model and then give a name to it okay like this and then you can have some placeholder value again this is optional um, enter details here okay and then I'm going to put a paragraph and say text area value it's most important is to capture the value from the forms that's the most important thing go into the component make it string default it to empty and see now I'm entering details inside text area and it's coming here so essentially what you have learned is how to get data from the form using two-way data binding using ng model okay so I've shown you different variations I've shown you with you know input type equal to text checkbox radio select drop down text area these are the most commonly used form elements that are that you can create any powerful form all right so that covers two-way data mining let me know if you have any doubts I'll be more than happy to help you also join me in the next episode I'm going to talk and teach you all about angular 17 signals very very interesting very very important concept you can relate it to it like a state in react if you if you are comfortable with that so that would be exciting so join me in the next episode we will learn about angular 17 signals thank you so much for joining in this episode I'll see you in the next one.